Hello mga kachotor, welcome to my channel and if you're new here, I'm actually making an educational video tutorial at kung kayo naman ay nakapag-subscribe na sa aking channel, welcome back to my channel. Sa kalagay ng mundo ngayon ay lagi nating naririnig ang salitang social distancing for our safety. So ngayon in this video ay tuturuan ko po kayo kung paano isosolve ang distance between two person or the distance between two points. Kasi sa mathematics meron tayong formula kung paano isolve natin ang distance between two points. So we will be using this formula. So sa mathematics we will be using this formula d is equal to square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 square plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 square. Yun po ang gagamitin natin formula sa pag-calculate ng distance between two points. So ang distance formula is useful tool in finding the distance between two points which can be arbitrarily represented by points x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2. So distance formula itself is actually derived from Pythagorean theorem, which is, if you remember, we have the formula sa Pythagorean theorem na c square is equal to a square plus b square, where c is the longest side of the right triangle, also known as the hypotenuse. And the a and b are the other shorter sides, known as the legs of the right triangle. The very essence of the distance formula is to calculate the length of the hypotenuse of the right triangle which is represented by letter C. Itingnan natin ngayon kung paano na derive ang formulang ito na D is equal to square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 square plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 square which is our distance formula. So assume that you will have your point A and your point B. So i-measure natin kung ano yung distance between these two points. So ang gagawin mo lang daw is you have to make a horizontal and vertical line to form your right triangle. So i-extend natin to dito and, and then this one your vertical line. So you will have here this point na nag-form sila, sila ng right triangle. Ito yung magiging ano niya magiging form niya ng right triangle mo. So, yung opposite ng ating 90 degrees would be your hypotenuse, which is the segment that we're looking for. So, we can actually write this one as your C or as your C para maging consistent tayo dun sa Pythagorean theorem. Okay. So, now, so sa ating point A, para matukoy natin ang length ng ating point A is from this distance to this distance. So that means to say, from this length minus from this Kasi kung kasi di ba, ang kukunin lang natin na lang dito is ito lang. So meaning to say, from this point minus this one here, makukuha mo yung length mo dito. So, ang gagawin natin is, itong length na to is just equal to x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Sabihin natin, ito yung A mo. Ito yung B side. So, length mo ng A is just equal to x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And then, if you're going to have also your length here sa B, yung length mo ng B is just equal to yung length mo dito ng 6 minus mo dito. So, that means to say, pwede mong sabihin na y2 minus y1. Kasi, ito lang yung kukunin natin na length from this point to this point. So, say for example, this would be your y2 and this would be your y1. So, ito lang yung kukunin natin na length. So, that will be your length for your b. So, we can say na ang length b would be y2, y sub 2 minus y sub 1. Kung babalikan natin ang formula ng Pythagorean theorem, you have your c square is equal to a square plus b square. So ngayon, ano yung c mo dito? Ito yung c, ito yung a, ito yung b. So kung isa substitute natin yung mga values natin dito sa a, would be c square is equal to your a is x sub 2 minus x sub 1 square plus your b is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 square. So, this is your formula. Ngayon, kasi naka-square siya, ang kukunin lang kasi natin ng value is yung c. So, your c would be 
x sub 2 minus x sub 1 square plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 square square. So, this is our, ito yung formula natin sa ating distance. You can call it C, you can call it D. Ito para mapakita natin na consistent siya sa ating Pythagorean Theorem, we can call this a C. Pero right now, kasi we are talking about distance, pwede natin siyang tawagin D. Para, pag sabihin, what's the distance? So, D would be, so D is equal to this formula. So, we come up with the formula na ang ating formula for our length or the distance formula is just equal to x sub 2 minus x sub 1 square plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 square square root of that. So, ito ang gagamitin nating formula sa pag-calculate ng ating length between the two points. So, ngayon let's have an example para ma-apply natin sa uh, mga problems related to mathematics. Ngayon, magsusolve tayo ng first problem. How far is the point 6, 8 from the origin? So, ang problem natin ay how far is the point 6, 8 from the origin? So, meaning to say, meron tayong dalawang, ang, ang given lang talaga dito is 6, 8. Kasi sinabi niyang origin, origin. So, meaning to say, meron tayong isang point na 0, 0. Meron tayong isang ordered pair na 0, 0. Let's find the distance between these two points. 6, 8 and 0, 0. So, kasi 0, 0, pwede natin siyang gawing ito yung x1, ito rin yung y1. Ito yung ating x2, ito yung ating y, y sub 2. So, ang ating formula is that D is equal to x sub, min, x sub 2 minus y sub 1 square plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1. So, ngayon ang gagawin natin is, i-substitute lang natin yung mga values niya. Ano yung x sub 2 natin? 6 minus x sub 1, 0 square plus, ano yung y sub 1, y sub 2, 8 minus 0 square square root of this expression. 6 minus 0, 6 square. Plus, 8 minus 0, 8 square. Square root. Then, this is square root of 36 plus 64. So, the answer would be square root of 100. So, your D, what is the square root of 100? Is 10. So the distance between these two points, 6 and 8, and 0, 0 is 10. So that would be your answer. Let's have another example. Find the distance between these two points. Find the distance between these two points, negative 3, 2, and 3, 5. So we can assign this one as your x1. You can assign this one as your y1. This one would be your x sub 2, and this one will be your y sub 2. So, let's substitute this one sa ating formula. The formula natin is d is equal to square root of x2, x sub 2 minus x sub 1 square plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 square square. Ano yung ating x sub 2? x sub 2 is 3 minus x sub 1 is negative 3 square plus y sub 2 5 minus y sub 1 2 square and this is square so let's simplify this one 3 minus 3 is equal to 6 because you're Balikan natin yung ating discussion sa integer. Pag negative, negative, you're going to add these numbers. So, you will have your square root of 6 square plus 5 minus 2, 3 square. Square root. So, your answer would be square root of 6 square is 36 plus 9 is equal to 
36 plus 9 is 45. Square root of 45. So basically, that's your answer, square root of 45. But you can actually simplify this square root of 45 into... So kung simplify mo itong 45, you can actually have like square root of 9 times 5. Or 3 square root of 5. Or acceptable na rin to. Ito yung square root of 45. Pero kung ipasimplify pa sa inyo is, that would be your answer. 3 square root of 5. So let's have another example. So the question here is find the radius of the circle with a given diameter whose endpoints negative 7, 1, and 1, 3. So basically, yung ating kukunin dito is yung radius of circle. So we know that radius is equal to d over 2. Yun yung half of your diameter's length. Okay. So first, we're going to solve for the length of the diameter. So your diameter would be, let's assign this one as yung x sub 2 natin, x sub 2 would be 1, x sub 1 would be negative 7. y sub 2 natin is 3. Y sub 1 is 1. Okay, so now let's solve for the length of your diameter. Using the formula D, distance formula, x sub 2 minus x sub 1 square plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 square. So, your x sub 2 is 1 minus negative 7 square plus y2 3 minus 1 square square root of this so what's the answer 1 minus negative 7 is 8 square plus 3 minus 1 2 square so your answer would be 8 plus 8 square 64 plus 4 square root of this and this would be 68 square root of 68 square root of 68 could be written as 4 times 17 so your answer would be 2 square root of 17 this is your diameter pero ang tanong natin dito is what is your radius length of your radius so actually, after solving yung diameter is, you're going to solve for your radius. We know that our radius is this formula, half of your diameter. So your D here, 2 square root of 17 over 2, your radius would be square root of 17. Kasi makancel na yan. So your final answer is, radius is equal to, Seven, next square root of 17. So, yun lang po ang formula natin sa ating distance between two points. Square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 square plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 square. So, kung tatanungin kayo yung length nyo between two points, yun ang gagamitin yung formula para masolve nyo yung length or yung distance nyo between sa dalawang tao. Actually, sa next video na gagawa ko ng mga serious videos sa mga board exam. Kasi meron akong, as I go through sa aking mga reviewers dati, meron akong nakita ng 1001 solve problems in engineering mathematics. So, yun ang magiging ano natin, serious video para ma-review kayo sa buong mathematics. So, actually, yun ang ginagamit ko dati sa pagtitake ko ng board exam sa mathematics. So, sinove ko lang tong series na problems na to para meron kayo matutunan at for sure magagamit nyo to sa board exam. So, kung may natutunan kayo sa aking video, please give this video a thumbs up. Mag-comment na din kayo sa comment section kung ano yung mga special topics na dapat nating isolve sa ating vlog. Thank you and keep safe. Keep the social distancing and have a great day ahead. Bye!